sub m as a function of time is equal to q sub e, the value for the normal uncoupled state, the electric atom molecule state, plus alpha effective q sub m. q sub m is the property value for the physical vacuum state. Alpha effective is the coupling coefficient, which depends upon the length of time that the intention host device has been operating in the space. If alpha effective is zero, then of course we just reproduce our conventional reality and all of the physics of our conventional reality. If alpha effective, if its absolute value is greater than zero, but less than one, then we see this change because we now are able to access this second term and we see the property value change. And depending upon the particular intention, we can see an increase in magnitude of the property, an unchanged magnitude of the property, and we, or we can see a decreased value of the property. So this is our expectation for the general experimentation in this regard. What I have plotted here on the vertical axis is the magnitude Q sub M of a particular material property. On the horizontal axis, I have plotted the exposure time to the appropriate intention host device. Here the label IIED means intention imprinted electrical device. And what we see is that for the first period, time between zero and T1, basically nothing much happens. We just record the typical value for the uncoupled state of physical reality. And T1 is of the order of a month. And after time T1, we begin to see a change in Q sub M, always moving in the direction of the particular intention in this case, an increase in the magnitude. And it increases in this particular fashion until we get past time T2, where it plateaus at the higher level, which is typically the magnitude of change that we intended. If we actually take the intention imprinted device out of the experimental space, before we reach the time T2 and we store the device somewhere else, the Q sub M just slowly decays over months, actually, to back to background level, this value Q sub M zero. However, if we allow the device to remain until after the time T2 and then take it away and store it, we find that this value Q sub M1 is maintained continuously for a long period of time, in some cases, as much as one to two years. So this is our typical behavior that we've observed, and it's our typical expectations for any experiment. 